All right, hello everyone, and peace of Christ all of you. I hope my voice is coming good and clear. Please invite your friends, and if you are Muslim, please join us in this conversation. Hey, everybody is welcome. You know, always when we uh, speak about Islam, we face a kind of uh, a game. You know, we don't really de debate with Muslims. Uh, I don't remember when the last time really I have a debate with a Muslim because all what I have with them is just a game and the game is uh, hide and seek if you remember not long time ago we have a brother his name is David Wood he had a debate with the Muslim if we can call it a debate his name is Muhammad Hijab and the whole purpose of the debate was not to debate as much as about how to make a mockery of what he, what she, what who, what whatever, what you say about Islam. So we will try to make a mockery of you. There was no debate. It was a person avoiding answering questions. By making it as a comedy in order to cover up for the silliness of this person and the mistakes of his God. One of the things we witnessed in that debate, and all of you heard it, you can go and watch it again, uh, David Wood, he asked Muhammad Hijab about Allah has body parts. Muhammad Hijab, he said, who said so? Who said so? You know, when you when you debate a Muslim like this, you have to be prepared always that he, number, the number one defense is to lie. To lie and to deny. Honesty is not in the table. This is why we cannot call it a debate. A debate is between two people who say the truth about what they believe. Not people who are trying to go around the bushes and never answer a question. And when you say to them, Allah has parts, they say to you, who said so? Who said so? Your prophet said so. Allah, he said so. And then if we go in the in, the, in, the, in YouTube and you search, you will find thousands of videos made by Muslims, including those who they call themselves famous saying that Allah yes he have hands Allah have five fingers Allah have a foot Allah have a shin Allah has body parts so why for Mimi hijab he said who said so and the rest of the Muslim they say Allah said so the Prophet Muhammad said so so what is the weakness there to the point made this person deny that his God has parts you see when somebody denies something it's mean he is ashamed of it you know what I mean the second you deny it it's mean you are ashamed of it especially if it's true otherwise why you deny it I wish I can play for you all the videos of uh, both actually just to just for a comedy show because we have to we have to admit regardless if you are a Christian or a Muslim or a Hindu or a Jew that one of them is lying Zakir Naik and the other scholars or they call themselves scholars or, or Muhammad Hijab who is the liar one of them is a liar which one the face of Allah we'd like to see so Allah has a body but not like you and mine Allah says in the Quran in Surah Shura. Allah has a body, but not like yours and mine. <laughs> Did you hear it? Hijab was making fun of David Wood for saying that. Chapter 5 to verse number 11. There's nothing whatever like Allah. He hears and sees. But he doesn't hear like you and me. For you and me require ear to hear. Allah, how he hears? Allah Alam. He sees. We require eyes to see. Allah, how does he see? Allah Alam. So Allah is there. He has a form, how it is? Allah Alam. He has a hand? Yes, Quran says that. Regarding a second question. Allah has a hand. How it's, it is? We don't know. Allah Alam. Allah has sees. Allah, Allah has eyes. Yeah, we don't know how he sees. Allah Alam. Allah has a form? Yes, Allah had a form. So, in one side, we see a Muslim saying that this is not a true. In the other side, we see a Muslim saying this is absolutely true. Allah said that. And what is the significance of the cap? See, cap, it is. The sunnah. <laughs> so which one of them is lying? This is the question. If you are a Muslim, 
and you like to give us a call please feel free I would like to hear from you to tell me which one of these is lying Zakir Naik and many other names we can show you all the videos of Muslims just type in YouTube uh, Allah have hands very simple just type in YouTube Allah have uh, a foot Allah have fingers and the Muslim themselves they will admit and agree yes Allah has those Hmm? You see all those videos in front of us. Allah have face, Allah have hands, Allah have fingers, Allah have shin, uh, Allah has Allah, has, yeah, yeah, but so you know. So why Muhammad Hijab he denied it? What was the purpose and what is the purpose if there is something in the Muslims are trying to avoid if you are a Muslim and you think you have explanation for why uh, Mimi hijab was trying to deny that Allah he have hands and he have physical body please call me as you see, Allah have hands, Allah has bodies. But you know what the keep Muslims keep saying to us, Baradar, Allah, nothing like Allah. Who cares if Allah nothing like, like nothing like me too? Every human individual, nothing like him, even if he's a twin. What does that mean? I mean, this is stupid. Keep saying you took you take a verse from the old testament, by the way, and you make it as about Allah. And you say nothing like God, but this is not, nothing like God is about his ability, his etc. But uh, nothing like God, okay. Allah, he says he have hands. So why he chose to have to say I have hands if he don't have hands? Allah, he have fingers. What is the shape of Allah? Here we go watch the video and laugh. Uh, we have a, we have a Muslim and look how funny guys the Muslims. Just to show you the comedy, the drama of the Muslims. Look at this. I want to show you an example of the Muslim drama. This is a Muslim saying to me, why are you debating yourself? Is that what are you about? I keep saying, call me, call me, call me. And then you say to me, why you are debating yourself? Is that what are you about? Guys, how many times I just call, said, call me since I started five minutes ago? I mean, do you see the hypocrisy? I just said, call me <laughs> what about now you became a man and call me sitting home debating yourself or kids are you saying you are the kid are you the kid because you are saying I'm debating kids that means you are not a kid so why you don't call me and we challenge all those names you see in the front of you Mimi hijab you run away Zakir Naik you run away all of you you run away why you don't call me so you say to me, why you don't come and debate knowledgeable people? Who are they, the knowledgeable people? Are you? Where are they? What do you want me to go to your lap? Look at your door, say, hey, come and debate me. I'm here. I'm here every day. And yet, none of you dare to call me. And the proof is here right now. Why you don't do so? Why you don't do so? Be the man, be the hero, call Christian Prince and show everybody that this guy, he knows nothing, he's just debating kids. And by the way, who is the kids I'm debating? Who? Shabir Ali, he gave an excuse to ABN TV station and he ran away from debating me five years ago. Zakir Naik, he said, bring 2,000 people with you to Bangladesh. Who is the one is running? I'm here. We have a Muslim, he just texted me in, in, uh, in Skype and he says, Hey man, follower of the three gods, let me call this guy, look like it's a, we got a fish. A Muslim saying to me, follower of the three gods, shall we call him? <laughs> follower of three gods, that's a good one. Answer, potato, answer. Hey, he hang up, coward. So you want to insult me in the chat in Skype, but you don't dare to call me? Call me.
Silence me. Answer me. Follower of three God. You Muslims are follower of three God. Message here. You want to debate me in text? How brave you are. Let your dad call me then. You are the one who follow three gods. Muhammad and Jibreel and Allah. Islam is not exist without Jibreel, without Muhammad, without Allah. Even your God Allah, he called Jibreel the mighty Jibreel. Mighty. So who is the brave Muslim would like to call me? And by the way, if you don't, if you are afraid from speaking about the body of Allah, which obviously is not nice, we can change the topic. Eh, ultimate fart. You are a kid. You are a kid. Let your dad like, just just go, just go. I thought I thought we got like I thought we got a, like a man, but. Eh. It lost. A man who did not know even how to find a verse in the Quran. We ask him about, we show him what a scholar they say. He says they are liars. <laughs> we say to him, okay, show me what a proof. He go and say, I'm going to show you the translation of uh, what his name, the one the Muslims killed him for he corrupted the Quran. <laughs> what a kid. Let your dad call me, man. So who is the Muslim would like to give me a call and prove to us that Mimi Hijab is not lying and Zakir Naik is saying the truth? Which one of them is saying the truth? All the faces you see in the front of you saying that Allah has parts. Muhammad Hijab, he said no. So what we will do now? Which one of you Muslims are liars? Okay, Harun, give me your I give me your Skype ID, please. I will call you. Go ahead. Give me your Skype. I will call you. Allah has fingers. Allah have a hand. Allah have a foot. So what we will do now? We have hundreds and thousands of Muslim scholars agree that Allah have hands, Allah have a foot, Allah have a shin. And by the way, in this video as an example, Allah has a foot. The guy here, he says the sheikh, Allah, he will show his magnificent, beautiful foot. I saw a movie, it's called The Magnificent Seven. But the magnificent foot of Allah, how you know it is magnificent? What if it is hairy? And what is magnificent about it? So we have Mimi Hijab who says Allah has no part, lying publicly about his God, trying to avoid the embarrassment. And we have tons of his scholars, including the Quran and Muhammad saying Allah have parts. Which one we should follow? Who is a Muhammadan would like to help us? Should I call Mayday Mayday? And why Allah have a foot? I will give you three options. Allah was walking in the earth, maybe like Jesus. Allah, he was playing soccer or football. Allah will do play karate with it. And the foot of Allah is made from what? And how Allah control his foot? Is the foot of Allah attached to Allah or it's flying by itself in the space? Is the foot of Allah a footy foot? Which means it fit in the shoes. Do Allah wear shoes or his foot is a bear? Naked feet do Allah wear socks
Do the foot of Allah have nails? What about the toes of Allah? Is it toesy? Do Allah have two toes or one toes? What about the pinky? Do Allah have a pinky? Look at them. Very simple question. None of them dare to answer. Hmm? How does Allah look like? Watch the video on love. The guy he says in the video, Allah, he says, I have a hand. What I can say? It's not me who said that. Allah. Allah said he have a hand. If Allah said he have a hand, it's mean he have a hand. Some of you might say the hand of Allah present power. The word power in Arabic means qudurah. Qudurah. You don't even know how to say it correctly. Qudurah. Not hand. Hand. You could go into any dictionary. Hand means literally a hand. Allah say he have a hand. What I can say? This is what he say in the video. Watch it. Give me your Skype ID, Harun. And by the way, why you call yourself Harun? Do you know what Harun mean? Harun mean a cat. Actually, you know. Harun is from the family of Muawiyah. Muawiyah mean a female dog. I'm not going to use the bad word. I mean, what's wrong with those people? You call yourself cat. Oh, you want to call me now and you want to play that you are a lion. But Harun mean a cat. Now be the, be the lion and give me a call. Stop saying give me your Skype. You give me your Skype, I will call you. You keep repeating yourself. Danny SR, is that your, this is who? Give me, give me your Skype, please. Let us see how good you are. This is your Skype, Ice Mobiles. Hmm. Okay, let us search for your Skype. No problem. No name can be found with such a name. Okay, now I found oh, I found one. Maybe this is you. Please answer me. Do you see my text, my friend? Your title is S key. Let us give you a call. All right. <coughs> hello. Yeah, hello. Yes. Hi. Yes. My yeah, friend. this uh, Christian Prince. Yeah. Yes, absolutely. You are live on air. What do you want to say to us? Yeah. Okay. Um. So you're saying Muhammad Hijab. Is a liar. That's what you're trying to say. I'm not saying the scholars saying that. Your prophet saying that. The Quran saying that. All your scholars saying that he has parts. Muhammad Hijab. He said. Who said so? Okay. Where does it say uh, he has parts? Where is this? Oh, those video in front of you. You can watch them. Which one you okay, want? Okay. So, so Muhammad Hijab. He claims Allah has body parts, but no, no. Doesn't he, no, he, no, he deny. No, he deny. You are trying he denies to prove, it. Yeah, you try to prove to me that Allah have body parts. I understand. But he he did not agree with you. He says, who said so? He's saying this is a lie. And you are oh, calling me. Either. Yeah, and you are calling me to say Allah yes had a body part, right? So Muhammad Hijab is lying, obviously, according to you, not according to me, because you just said Allah has part, uh, parts. Yeah, that's true. So he's a liar then. Muhammad Hijab is an idiot and he's a liar for saying that. Okay. But what he, why he's, right. why he's saying that, my friend? You are a Muslim, and you are calling me. You thought he he said that he, this is why he will call me. You thought he said yeah. that uh, Allah has parts, and you call me to prove that. But now, because I explained yeah. to you that this is the opposite from what you thought, he said no, Allah does not have body parts, and you agree now he is a liar. But why do you think he is lying? I think he's lying because he wants to get famous, and you know he's trying to make something up that's not true. Okay. 
so but uh, I mean okay get famous by lying people will laugh at him yeah but I think also the debate that he had with David Wood he also lied there when he said Allah prays and like obviously uh, he mixed up David Wood's uh, argument if you know what I mean hmm. because David Wood he says uh, Allah uh, 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 that Allah he pray on the Prophet uh, they, he pray uh, on the prophet, uh, yeah. hijab he said Allah he pray for not to do you agree with him no, no, I don't agree with him. You are a Muslim, right? Yes, yes. Okay, can you say Shahada so people will be sure that you are a Muslim? La ilaha illallah Muhammad Rasulullah. Okay, so you are a Muslim for sure, and you are saying hijab is lying. Okay. Yeah. What? But why he is lying all over? I mean, why he? What? What the point? Well, the point is he wants to create confusion, and he's uh, basically what David Wood. He was making a good argument. And you know he ridiculed David Wood, and you know I have respect for Christians. Although I must say that uh, so CP, you're Christian, right? Uh, yeah, um, some some uh, people okay. think I'm so, Hindu because I like beef. What What do you think of the the Torah? What do you think of it? Uh, this is the uh, the book of uh, you know our book. It's part of our book. Part of your books, right? Uh, yeah. So do you know in the Torah what it calls? Arab people, what does it call them? What is called them? You tell me. I'm he called them Pere Adam. That means wild beast. Hmm. So he's calling your own people wild beast. Hmm. Where, where, you know? where it says that? Where it says that? In, it says it in Torah. In where, the where? Five books of Moses. Where, where? Five books of Moses. Okay, where? Where? Oh, I can bring you the, uh, the thing. You got a uh, wrong understanding. You are talking about the children of Ishmael. The children of Ishmael are not the Arab. We are not from Ishmael. Ishmael, his mother is so Egyptian. My friend, the, the, the Ishmael, his mother is Egyptian. His father is Aramaic. How the son will be an Arab? To make it simple for you, you are a Chinese. You marry a Japanese. Your son is Egyptian. Does it make sense to you? No. Right? No, no, it doesn't. No, no. So this is not about. No, but, this is not about the Arab. This was about the children of Ishmael, and Ishmael is not an Arab, and he is not the father of the Arab. However. The, 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 the Bible when the Bible speak about something this is a prophecy about what they will be that we be wild people people who like war and warrior that's not nothing wrong with it this is a prophesying about what they will be what about your prophet who says that the black people will go to hell <clears throat> well but, but, okay if he said black people will go to hell how come he had a, 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 a companion uh, Bilal who is also he is a not a companion here he, he was a slave how you can call him companion slave. what kind of a companion he is the one who clean your dishes and you order him to change your diaper is that a <laughs> companion yeah yeah but okay how come he treated him like so fair like he never he, was he never treat him slave. fair he never treat him fair he order him to wake up for him in the morning so to call to the prayer because all the white Arab are asleep and he is the only slave there who is being yeah. given order? He's not. He's not treating him nice. Yeah, hmm. but I mean, if you compare it to how black people were treated before, you know, Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam came. How black and, people were treated before Muhammad? Muhammad was raping black people. When Mary the Copt, she is an Egyptian. She's an African. He was raping her. So is that a nice treatment? Yeah. Okay. I agree. That's that's wrong. And okay. Although if I don't think Muhammad did that, I mean, what's the source? What do you mean Muhammad did that? No, I can show you. Here we go. There's a chapter. It's called the chapter of At Tahrim. In the chapter of At Tahrim, yeah. Muhammad, his wife, she got him busted. He was sleeping yeah. with Mary the Copt, and he make an oath because he's a false man that I will never do that again. I promise you. After he made the promise that he will not do it again, he got horny again to sleep with this slave. So he broke his mm -hmm. oath and he said, Allah told him to break the oath. Mm. Mm. What do you think? So so he did break his oath with what he's saying Allah told him not to do. Yeah, Allah told him. No, Allah told him, why yeah. you are taking an oath about what I made lawful for you? But there is no verse yeah. in the Quran that says, if somebody gave you a slave as a gift, you rape her. Yeah. Mm. So what we do now? Yeah, Mm. But then, okay, but then what about also where in the hadith it says if you have, uh, you know, a woman from Wabu, you're allowed to do anything with her. So, like, you know, if you capture a female slave, you're, you know, it's permissible to uh, do it. Yeah, see, to like okay. The, the hadith and the Quran says it's, a, uh, uh, yeah. it's allowed for you to rape a woman you capture from war, 
but married the Qabtu, yeah. she was not captured from war. So where is the source that she is lawful for him? The Quran says, a woman you capture from war, you can rape her. Right? And this is authentic uh, hadith? This is Quran. Not only hadith, Quran and Quran. hadith. The Quran says, Whatever you own in your right hand, possess this is from war. But Mary, she yeah. is not from war. Mary, she was a gift with her cousins sent to Muhammad, yeah. a free shipping and handling to his door. And he accepted and he started raping the women. And he took the male as a slaves, as, the same as the rest. Yeah, uh, I mean, like, so he took, so was she his wife or was she his slave? She was, like, was no, the, she was his slave. She was just his, he, she was his companion as a slave. She was his in companion. The, in the bed, you know, which means like, what they call it, like a mistress. Mistress, yeah. yeah for yeah. fun, um, yeah, for fun. Yeah. But if that's in the Quran, then that must be true. You know, I can't disagree with what the Quran says. Yeah, but, but so, uh, you know. okay, you, you know what? Uh, I'm really, I'm really confused about you. Uh, yeah. Is Islam is a good religion? You know, I have very uh, doubts about Islam, you know, like um, <laughs> certain things I can't explain and I've not had <laughs> answers to explain them. So I, I can say it's good in some ways, but in also some ways it's quite uh, wrong. In What uh, is good know. about Islam? Give me the good before, first. The good base, okay, like it teaches people to, you know, to worship one God. It teaches... Uh, okay, I have, I have, I have, I have, okay, so hold on. If somebody says to me you worship one God did that make make the religion yeah. good I mean, what about the point if what if there is 1,000 God that will not change anything if God is one he's one if he's two he's two if he's three he's three we have to accept what he is or what what what, right. what, what there is so making a big fuzz about okay we worship one God this is not a big deal the Egyptian worship one God there's many religion worship one God the Christian worship God uh, one God the Jews worship one God so what uh, there is many religion fake religion they worship one God one idol so yeah. Okay, the number doesn't make any difference. But what about if he's real or not? If uh, if it's real, you mean that if the religion? Yeah, is real. if the religion. What important is is this religion? Okay, is but real. then what about the scientific proofs in the Quran? Like okay, uh, like what? Give me iron one. Give me from, one. Give me one. Which one? Iron come from the sky. Iron. Iron come from the sky? No, my friend. Iron does not come from the sky. The scientists don't say what the Muslim says. The scientists they say like a, a, a good part of the crust. The crust, yeah. the top of the earth, is uh, iron, is coming from the sky. But the magma is all of it is iron. Mm. And a human being, and look what the Quran says. The Quran yeah. says, at Allah, He sent the iron for the man, for as a as a tool of war. Yeah. Right? Okay. Which means the man was exist before the iron. Mm. So Allah, He sent because when you say we send it down to the man, okay. Yeah. Then that's mean the man is there. Okay, what Allah he sent down. Let us read together. This is the verse, chapter 57, verse number 25. We verily yeah. sent our messenger with the clear proofs and revealed to them scriptures, blah, blah, blah. And then he says to mankind, observe, right? And he sent down, revealed as false. I mean, I mean, look, look at the translation. Since when revealed, the iron will be revealed. Is it inspiration? <laughs> so, and he sent down the iron, <laughs> wherein is yeah. mighty power. Huh? So he sent down to the mankind. So the mankind was there and Allah he sent the iron. Mm. But the iron, the iron is so, exists in our blood. We have iron. You see, if you have deficiency in your blood in the iron, you will oh die dear. immediately. Mm. So iron must be exist before we are created. Otherwise, yeah. we will not be exist. Secondly, the magma is full of iron. What what the Quran is saying mm. here, it's a metaphorical that I am the one who sent the messengers, I am the one who sent the books, and even the iron you use for war. I send it to you, and the Muslim they make a miracle of it. Desperate. Yeah. What about the other uh, bits that it says? You know, the sun uh, goes about on its you know own rotation. You know, like rotation. So, like it says in the Quran that the sun has its own uh, course. So, it, the you know, it's explaining what? about the sun the, having the, the its sun, own you course. Mean, you mean the sun? Yeah, the sun. Yeah, your sun. Okay, my friend, the sun in the Quran, the the the, the, the Quran never say rotation. It says mustaqarrin laha, which means it's go to a, a sleeping station. Yeah. Okay. Do you agree with that? That the sun goes and sleeps somewhere? No, no, because the sun is 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 not stationary. 
it's moving, but the earth is spinning on its own axis. Yeah, but so look, I don't believe that yeah, the sun. But look what the, the Quran says. Look, look, look what the Quran says. And the sun, yeah. and the sun unto resting place. Do you see it? This is a Muslim translation, not my translation. Yeah, the sun doesn't rest because the sun's always okay. So, the, uh, so the Quran, part, so the Quran uh, obviously is wrong. But what if it's meaning it metaphorically or the, you know, um, uh, parable? What if it's a parable, like he's saying the sun is uh, prostrating to God by listening to God by you know, uh, by staying warm and everything? What if it means in that way? I'm not sure what do you mean, but but before we continue, uh, uh, we change this. Yeah. Do you know where the sun set according to the Quran? Uh, Moody spring of water. Okay, do you agree with that? No, but like w people say that this is uh, from uh, what, uh, what's the guy's name? The two horns. Uh, Forgot his name now. Zulkarnain. Uh, Zulkarnain. Zulkarnain. Yeah, yeah. Zulkarnain. Mm. Mm. They're saying that that's from his perspective. Mm. So I don't. I'm confused. I don't know if the Quran okay. means. Let us, let us me. Let us. Let us me and you together read together. I. I yeah. trust. I trust your. Uh, your. Your intelligence. Yeah. Right? And we will read the Quran together. If there is any. No. Is it? If there is any translation you favor, so I can show you a translation yeah. you like, or it doesn't matter. Uh, the uh, Hips Quran uh, translation from that one. Who? Cool. Uh, and any translation okay. is. Uh, okay, read with me carefully. This is this is the Quran okay. translation by Muslim. Which, yeah, yeah. Okay, let us see the translation. This is by Bigtal, Muhammad Bigtal. You see here? I'm showing yeah. you on the screen. I don't know if you can see the screen. You see the screen? Uh, one second. Let me have a look. Um, just hold on. Yeah, I can see it now. Yeah. All right. It says. It says here that they ask yeah. thee, they ask thee, who is talking Allah? They ask thee about Dhul Qurnayn. Say, I shall recite into you uh, some remembrance of him, which means his story. Who is talking Allah? Yeah. Correct? Yeah. Okay. Lu, we made him strong in the land. So, Muhammad saying, uh, you know, the God of Muhammad saying, that I am the one who made him strong. And then, and then he followed a road. Okay. And then, till when he reached the sitting place of the sun, he found it sitting in his. The one who is talking until now, who? It's Allah. Do you agree? Yeah. Okay. So how they say this is from the perspective of this man? If the one is reporting what he found is Allah. If mm. I say that uh, I don't know what's your name. Let's say your name is Muhammad. You Muhammad, you went all the way to India and you find the people there. They like to lo love to eat curry. Okay. I am. I'm reporting mm. what you found, but the found is a yeah. fact. You see? Yeah, yeah. Not he, uh, he thought. Yeah. He didn't say he thought. He said he found it. The second you found, say he yeah. found it, that's mean this is a find. This is not, and he agreed mm. with it. That's why you say he found. You didn't say he thought. Yeah. If he thought, well, Allah, I want to correct him. Then he will say, and he thought that the sun sitting in the murky water, but he did not say that. Mm. He said he found it. And look what it says too. If you notice with me. Yeah, and this is the problem. Most of us, when we when we read something, we don't uh, think deeply. And I want you, please, to think deeply with me. It says, "Till yeah. when he reach the the setting place of the sun, yeah. who is the one talking Allah?" Yeah, he did not thought it is a setting it, until he reached the setting place of the sun. So, Allah is saying yeah. that there is a place where the sun set. Yeah. Okay, setting place, not only sunset. This is not a view of appearance. It is a setting place. Why? Because next to it, he found people who they are like this. Yeah. There, in that place, that he found people. So, this is a place, this is a location. And he found mm. it, he found it sitting in a muddy spring. This is Allah reporting. Now, this is alone is not enough. Maybe a Muslim can play games still. He say, ah, oh, it's not clear. Let us go to the hadith. What about Muhammad? Explain this hadith for us. What do you think? Oh, yeah, the, I, I heard of the hadith where one of the companions of the Sahaba, he asked the Prophet Muhammad that... Uh, this is the hadith in front of us. Read with us, please. It says... Is oh, it was, Sahih hadith or is it... Uh, yeah, yeah, this is Sahih. Sahih. This is a fat hadith. I was sitting behind the messenger yeah. of Allah, S A W S F M uh, uh, Mercedes Benz, who was riding a donkey while the sun was setting. He asked, "Do you know where this set?" So the man, he was asked by the prophet. The prophet is showing his knowledge, like Muhammad, he liked to show off. Like I know you do not know. So do you know where this set? Said this what the sun. 
I replied, Allah and yeah. His Apostle know best. And Muhammad, he loved to hear this. Like you have to say to him, you and Allah knows best. So no, no, that's <laughs> it. So he said, it's set in a spring of warm water. So how the Muslim lie to us and say that this is from the uh, house of Qurnayn, he thought. Muhammad explained that. Do, do the Muslim knows more than Muhammad? No, no. Okay. Are you going to stay as a Muslim after this? It's very hard for me to uh, stay as a Muslim after this by okay. seeing this uh, horrible. Like it's, it's almost you know too stupid if you know what I mean. Okay, Allah is too stupid. I agree with you. But are you are you with my respect to you? Are you too stupid to stay in this garbage? No, no, I'm more intelligent than that. Okay, so are you out of Islam? Yeah. All right, that's wonderful. But uh, but uh, I warn you. Live in Islam, that's mean you will not get virgins. <laughs> I'd rather not have virgins. I'd rather leave Islam. and Because I, I even have other tr trouble with Islam, you know, like about the paradise, you know, saying you'll have a little boys. You know, that's for homosexuals. and You don't, so that like, means, you don't you like, know, like boys? What about it, men? The Prophet, he promised men. The prophet, he, he promised says, men as well. Yeah, in the heaven, there's, an, there's, an, there's an, uh, a market where you can go yeah. and the, in the market there is uh, uh, you know there is uh, images where you can buy uh, like mm. or let us say uh, you like an image and if you like the the man or the woman in the image uh, you jump uh, you jump inside and you have sex with, the, with whoever is inside the, the heaven read with me carefully it says yeah this is Jamia al Tirmudi it says Ali narrated from the message of Allah indeed in paradise yeah. there is a market which there uh, there is no buying nor selling yeah, sorry about that I just got caught off it's indeed okay. in paradise yeah your voice now is a lot better it became higher that's good so indeed oh, in sorry. paradise okay uh, there are there is a market in which there is no buying nor selling except which means there is buying and selling but only the only product is Images of images. men and women. Do you see the word men? Yeah. Okay. So what the images are? Men and women. Okay. So whenever a man who is the customer, the customer is a man. Correct. And yeah. Okay. Yeah. So whenever a man desire an image, he enter it, which means to have sex with it. Okay. So what we saw here that in the paradise of Allah, there is images. And the images are for men and for women but the customer is what the customer is a oh. man. the customer only man right yeah okay so the customer is a man and there's two product one is images for men as we see and one is images for women so mm. if the man desire to have sex with any of those images which is images of men and women he jump inside the image and he have sex with it so yes Muhammad he teach you know that in the heaven of Allah you will be a homosexual that is very like uh, if I must say it's very disgusting and you know I don't think a prophet of Almighty God can say such uh, horrible and disgusting things like that well you know time. Muhammad he's trying to be nice actually here maybe you are a gay and you like to have sex with men so he's trying to make you happy I mean come on Show respect to the Prophet. The Prophet, he liked to show you that you like men. In our heaven, we have men. You like boys, we have boys. You like chicken, we have a chicken. You know, like what do you want? You know, it's like a, a yeah. But but here you notice Muhammad is opening the door of the fantasy business. Muhammad, he was way before. Like I don't know why the Muslim don't make a movie about this because Playboy exists yeah. more than fourteen hundred years after Muhammad. But the fact the first Playboy magazine in the history it was the magazine of the Prophet Muhammad peace upon him. This is a magazine. This the whole bazaar has nothing except images. You know, and yeah, what the no, images no, obviously yeah, those images are for naked men and women, and you go and you have sex with whoever you wish. I mean that's, I mean the Prophet theory he have a very nice imagination, and he have a very nice promises. And I encourage yeah. all the Muslims to believe in him. I mean, images, 
so not only we will have 72 versions and uh, at least and uh, 80,000 little boys no <coughs> we will have in the top of that we will have images and if we like the image we jump inside the image and we have sex with it Lord, yeah, yeah, that is very very bad all right so my friend as long as you decide to leave Islam what about you what about what do you think about Christianity well Christianity I've uh, you know I've thought about it and it's you know how come there's so many mistakes and contradictions in the Bible you know mm. let, let me let me let me tell you something when somebody says yeah. to you there's contradiction in the Bible, do you think the Christian did not see the, that there is what you claim, what people claim there are contradiction? Don't think we yeah. don't know? Okay. So how we explain that we don't leave Christianity if there is a contradiction? What happened is that people, when they try to make contradiction, they come with it, but it's not there. As an mm. example, they say to you, in this book here, it says that David, he have, etc. horses. In this book, it says he have, etc. horses. It's still not, that will not change anything, anything because one day me I have one dollar in my pocket second day I have ten dollars in my pocket the guy yeah. is alive and he is living this is not he did not build his house right away so when people they describe they try to find a contradiction and the contradiction is silly secondly what they call contradiction does not make it ch change anything about the belief let us say I am writing about uh, David and then I say David mm -hmm. he have uh, uh, 100 horse and you are writing, yeah. you are a rabbi, and you wrote, you says, David, he have 200 horse. That will not change that David was there and worshiped the same God. And that did not change that God, when he speak, he did not make uh, 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 the, the mistakes. If I, if, if ever those mistakes exist, that's the mistake of a writer. You see that we believe as a Christians that the Bible is written by the hand of a man, which mean it's a yeah. man, it's not God. So the mistake will be, if God said something and God mm. was wrong, that will be a mistake. If a man so the Bible is not is not the word of God. It uh, it is it, no no. Uh, when we say it is the word of God, does not mean that every word there is God speaking. No, as an example, the Quran yeah. is saying the Quran, but the Muslim they say the Quran is every word is a word of God because supposedly the one who report the story is Allah. In the Bible, no. Yeah. In the Bible, when God speak, this is the word of God. God is speaking. When Satan speak, this is the word of Satan. But yet, when in general we say the, the Bible is the word of God, otherwise mm. we will find verses in the, in the Bible that says that Satan he said, correct? So Satan yeah. he said, there is no way we will say that this is the word of God. But because it is in the Bible, we say all oh, the book is the word of God. But if oh, it's in front of us, it says Satan he said. Do you understand me? Yeah, yeah. yeah. But like so, we don't I, I, have we don't have. Like, so the, the mistakes yeah. they are talking about, I don't agree with with those who claim this uh, uh, thing. In the same time. Right. In the same time, the Bible is book of books, and those books written by the hand of man. And what is from God is what God said. As an example, God yeah. he said to Moses, that is God speaking. Moses said that is Moses yeah. speaking. Christian prince, he said that Christian prince speaking. Like a Muslim, he will come to me, he says, Do you know in the Bible it says uh, it's allowed to have sex with your daughter? That's false. The Bible reporting mm. a story about two daughters have sex with their father. Because there's no men around, they want to have kids so they can survive. So they found this is uh, the uh, prophet Lot. Yeah, but this is not what the Bible says. The yeah. Bible did not say that God He says to them, "Go and have sex with your father." That's a lie. So when the yeah, Bible no, that's, report, that's, that's a lie. That's yeah, a lie. the Bible report a story, but the Muslim they use it to say the Bible allow because they are not yeah. being honest. But I can show that yeah. from the Quran and the interpretation of the Muslim scholars that Muslims in chapter twenty-five, verse number. Uh, 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 52 it says that you can have sex with your daughter if she is a daughter from adultery a Muslim is forbidden for him to have sex with his daughter that's uh, let us make it clear but if yeah. she is a daughter from adultery you can have sex with her so this is in Islam not in a Christianity in that Christianity, is another like very disgusting thing that you know when I heard uh, from one of your previous debates I found it very you know uh, disgusting Like what? Like you know the the fact that you know if you have a daughter from adultery, yeah, you can. So, have you, so you saw that in the like, debate, right? You watched this debate. Yeah, yeah, I've seen that debate. Yeah, and uh, that is very like uh, if it, if it's true, that is very disgusting. It is true, my friend. Everything we say, we show we show on the screen. You know, you know, you know what I do. Okay, yeah. I have I have another uh, uh, question for you, CP. You okay. know, like in the Bible, 
it gives the genealogy of uh, Jesus, right? Hmm. And then uh, it gives another genealogy. So it gives two different. It gives one for his fa- fa- his not father, the stepfather Joseph. Hmm. It gives genealogy to say he's come from uh, King David. Hmm. And then it says after that it says, but uh, it's not his real father anyway. So what was the point? The point is the that Jews. That no, genealogy. No, the Jews, my friend, the Jews. When somebody, okay, Jesus is born of who? Of a mother and a yeah. father by by birth. Which means the yeah. Jews, or what they see, that there is a guy because the, uh, uh, Joseph was engaged to Mary. An engagement yeah. for the Jews is the same as marriage, but with no sex yet. They must mean, marriage, yeah, yes. Yeah. So like in this Muslim, they say, Kat Biktab. Like, you know, you say and stay in your home until yeah. the day we organize the wedding and we, you know, you come to my, to my place. You live with me. Now, yeah. Uh, uh, the Messiah, he answered about that. This is the genealogy according to the Jews. The Jews, they want to know who is this Jesus, his son of who. But Jesus yeah. is, is not the, he is not from David, really. Like the Bible says, yes, he is a son of David. But in literally, the answer can be in Matthew chapter 22. If we go in Matthew chapter 22, it says that Jesus himself, he asked the Jews. And let me get the verses for, for us and submit it on the screen. Yeah. So look what Jesus said. This is Matthew. Chapter 22 He come to the Jews and he said to them What do you say of the Messiah? What do you say about the Messiah now the Jews here? They don't know that he is the Messiah. So he's asking them. What do you say about the Messiah? They said he is the son of David hmm? He is the son of David and then mm. then he says so well if he is a son of David uh, Then how? How David he called him my uh, my lord, you know. Yeah, but like and here by the way, no, and here in this verse, like I'm quoting actually not, not not the verse I want, but if you read on the screen with me here, I don't know if you can see it. Mm -hmm. But as the Pharisees were assembled, Yeshua asked them, and he said, "What are you saying about the Messiah?" So now somebody will say, okay, this is a contradiction. The Bible says that the Messiah is son of David, but Jesus says he is not the son of David. No, Jesus is not saying he's not son of David. By birth he is, but by reality, he is the God of David. Okay, look what he said. They said, mm -hmm. he said to them, what are you saying about the Messiah? Who is son is he? They were saying to him, the son of David. He said to them, and how did David by the spirit, and look here, by the spirit, Call him the Lord Jehovah. Call him what? The yeah. Lord Jehovah, which means my God. For he said, the Lord Jehovah said to my Lord, sit in my right hand until I place your enemy under your feet. Therefore, David called him the Lord Jehovah. How is he his son? So here you see that Jesus saying to the, to the, to the Jews, okay, I'm born by birth. From mm. the seed of David, but I am not not, as, not not from the seed. The seed here is just the lineage, like by birth. Okay, the Jews they know his mother is Mary, his father yeah. is is, uh, is Joseph. So he is, and um, this is their lineage, and it goes all the way to David. So okay, by birth he is from David, but all of us we knew that Jesus said before Abraham, I am. So he exists before David, he exists before Abraham, is and that is why David he called him. God and here the, this is the response for the Muslim who says where Jesus says I'm God Don't the Muslim say show me I tell you like she's like an I tell you any Christian yeah. if he can throw me one verse in the Bible It said that detail it God worth me and you cannot find one Okay <laughs> So the Christian cannot find yeah, one verse do. in the Bible says Jesus says I'm God. It's all over It's all over in front of us. So we are Jesus. Mm. I am God well, here we go. Jesus saying this is the one is talking here is not the disciple is not Paul is not John is not Matthew It is Jesus himself is speaking mm, But then Yeah, but then isn't like the so Jesus if if Jesus is the Messiah, then why hasn't he fulfilled? The, all the promises of the Old Testament, like what? How oh, he did not for, 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 for instance, uh, he's supposed to rebuild the third temple, right? Uh, the Messiah is supposed to build the third temple. 
No. He died before he, he did this. And he, no, you know, remember his he speak about, he to, says, to he said, he said my, other, friend, my friend, he said that, as well. okay, listen, he said that the temple, the temple, the one he's talking about, yeah. he says the temple, I will build it in three days. He's talking about himself when he will be crucified and he will come back to life. This is the holy temple. This is his body. So he was talking about his body. This temple, you destroy mm -hmm. it. I will build it in three days. And this is about his resurrection. So always don't come with the conclusion by your own. You know, understand what Christ is saying. Yeah. All right. So I invite you, my friend, as long as you decide to leave this time, it's up to you. But I invite you to accept the Messiah as your savior because you might go to sleep and never wake up. You never know. To be honest, uh, I need to think about it more. And uh, are you going to be uh, online live tomorrow? So I, can I call am you almost tonight. here every day until those people in the chat kick me out. <laughs> okay, uh, CP, I'll uh, speak to you soon. All right, my friend. Think about it, and okay, you, you, are, you are welcome to call me anytime. And I'm happy for you that you decide to leave Islam. Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. Take care. Okay, bye. All right, look like we have another person. Another Muslim, maybe. So, you know, thank you, Lord. We have a Muslim already. I think he's from India. He left Islam already. That's wonderful. And I hope soon he will he will accept his, uh, you know, his salvation and he will be saved. Why you don't ask him about five pillars? You know, Mirza, this is very stupid of you. I mean, if somebody want to lie, he just said Shahada. And let us say, you, you, you know, you know, Mirza, because you Muslims, you keep lying. You think everybody is a liar. This is the whole story. You cannot find anyone have a dignity around you. Your father lied to your mother. Your mother lied to your father. And you lie for both of them. A family of liars. So how you can believe that there's somebody is being honest? You cannot. It's impossible. You follow Muhammad. Let us see. I think we have a fish. Answer, my friend. Answer. Okay. So why you why you send me your contact if you don't want to talk? I don't do chat. Do we have any Muslim would like to call us? And by the way, the Prophet of Allah, he said, it's okay to lie. I mean, what kind of a prophet this prophet is? It's okay to lie? You can lie in three cases to your family, your friends, and your enemy. Who's left? For the sake of Allah Shin, who left? And then the Muslim in the scholar in the video, he explained to you, brother, as an example, uh, let us do it Zach your next style. Hold on. Brother and sister, the other person is named in the Christian prince. And he said, How is the Prophet of Allah? He said, You can like your wife. And he is absolutely a fool. As an example, you marry a beautiful woman. And after a few years, he became fat and big. And she said to you, Do you think I'm beautiful? Are you going to hurt her feeling? Absolutely not. So you said to her, My wife, you are so beautiful. You are so skinny. My wife, you are the most beautiful woman in the world. This is lie is okay. What? So your wife, she asks you if I am beautiful, you lie to her. So you see her ugly, you say to her, you are you are ugly. I mean, what how stupid this, this argument is. A prophet, if your wife is ugly in your eye, why you marry her? Or maybe he married her the same as Muhammad. He married Khadija. She is a lot older than him for the sake of her money. So if Khadija, she asks him, Am I old? The prophet, he would say, what are you talking about? You are so young. I mean, look at you. Your gray hair, I cannot see it. Your face wrinkles, they are not there. And the reason you are shaking and you, you break when you walk, not because you are old, but because we have electric shot from the thunderbolt. So we lie to our wife. 
Hmm? What Jesus said, either you say yay, yay, or nay, nay. Anything else is from the devil. Even he forbid us from taking oath swearing by God. And here we see how different between the devil trying to legalize and make you believe that, eh, okay, lying is okay. Don't make it a big deal, man. Let us lie to each other. Hmm. Do we have any Muslim? Do we have any Muslim would like to call us? Anybody? And Mirza, Mirza, look at you. We asked you questions about Islam yesterday. Very serious question. Do you know what you remember what you said to me? Christian Prince, your voice is so beautiful. I mean, this is what the Muslims worry about. He got horny, he got excited, even if he's talking to a man. I'm asking you about your God. You say to me, your voice is beautiful. Did you enjoy my voice? What's wrong with those people? I'm talking about God. I'm debating about the religion. And then he says, in the middle of nowhere, uh, by the way, uh, your voice is so beautiful. What? What? Do we have any Muslim? Hmm? Uh, by the way, uh, those who they are from Indonesia, uh, maybe later you can post for us some names, sheikhs and names in uh, maybe Patreon. From Indonesia, the biggest one, because I'm going to make a video to challenge all the potatoes there to debate me. Let us see if we can get any Abdul here. There. Hmm? So we're going back to the to topic. All Muslims agree that Allah He have body parts. Muhammad He agree. Allah have a foot, Allah have a shin, Allah have five fingers, Allah have a, sh a, a, a face, Allah have a, a two hands in the right side, which is funny. We got somebody. All right. For some reason, the name you gave me to, to text him in chat, when I text him, it doesn't work. I think maybe this guy is already, isn't it? This is the guy who sent me uh, a while ago. I blocked him. The one who don't answer. I called him, he did not answer. Forget about him. Any Muslim? Do you see how many times I say any Muslim? Sometimes I feel like a homeless, you know, big in fork. Any sandwich? Any Abdul? I get tired saying any Muslim.
and by the way I'm thinking to open a store for those magazines in the heaven of Allah I'm going to get like a I'm going to apply to Muhammad to give me a corner lot in the market of Allah where I can I will bring all the beautiful pictures you can imagine Muslims hmm? and not only that we will give you one month free subscription if you enter our store right away one month this Muslim wanted to debate me yeah All of them they want to debate me, but not in reality. Well, when I search his name, his name does not appear. I'm not sure why. I see someone his not without one. There's a name without one. The one you gave me with one and with one. So I'm not sure. See, please, please teach us about chapter 5, verse number 32. Muslim, this use the speech for peace. Hmm. You know, isn't it the Muslims always they say to you, don't take things out of context? Don't they say that to you? Okay. So how come they so chapter 5 verse number 32 but they did not see the verses before it and the verses after it hmm? what the verse after it says the penalty for those who wage war against Allah how they wage war Allah here we go he said We decreed for the children of Israel. First of all, this was for the children of Israel, not for the Muslims. This is for Musa. This is from the Torah. And by the way, there's a verse in the Torah saying exactly the same. All right. So if you kill one person as if he killed all mankind this is about killing an innocent person who is innocent in Islam somebody he believe in Allah otherwise the one who don't believe in Allah he's wearing waging war against Allah we have to kill him and cut his fingertips and crucify him and cut his feet and hands and here you notice that the pagan Allah he is taking the penalty of the Roman Crucifixion. So where where is the where is the peace? And then here you see the Muslim. They say to you. They say to you. Uh, there's no punishment for apostate in the Quran. The verse in front of you is speaking about that. If they repent. If they repent, okay. So why you are cutting their hands? What do you mean repent? Is that about killing? No. Is it about somebody killing somebody and we punish him by cutting his hands? No. If they repent and you overpower them, before you overpower them, do you see it, guys? This is not about criminals. This is about people who reject Islam. So the Muslims attack you. If you convert to Islam before they reach you to your house, don't kill them. They converted. Do you see it? Do we have any Abdul? And by the way, you can go and read the interpretation of this verse from Ibn Kathir as an example. It says clearly that killing an innocent person is keen on believer. Any non-believer is not innocent. There was an interview between the guy, what his name, the guy in England. He went to jail for sponsoring terrorism. I forgot his name from Pakistan. The the BBC guy he asked him why you don't condemn killing an innocent people. He says in Islam when you say innocent, it's mean Muslims. If you don't believe me, go watch the video.
Chawadri, Chawadri. Mr. Calm and Chowder. When we say Cain, honest and people, we mean Muslims. All right. I can't find you the video. Hold on. Honest and people are only the Muslims. This guy is telling you the truth. This is what they believe. And the and the BBC guy is saying like, what this guy is talking about? Isn't it the Muslim they say we are against skin of innocent people? <laughs> Islam says that. Well, we're joined now by Angela. So why, why, huh? Why you don't condemn the killing of innocent people? Why when Islam condemn that? The Muslim get him busted. He says you idiot. You don't understand. Innocent people in Islam are Muslims. And this is what the ignorant Western they don't want to understand. Go watch the video and see by yourself. All right? Do we have any Muslim want to say something? Send it to me. What does guy send? Khan Lala. Okay, I click at his name. Maybe he is from those before I blocked them. Hold on, let me see. Let us see his name. Khan Lala. What is what his name in the in the Skype? How it appear? Is it Khan Lala too? Okay, let's see. Contact blocked and <coughs> we are trying to find if this name is exists between if he is a block, that means he's a kid. We block only the kids. I think this is the kid who I gave me his name just uh, when we started and I called him he did not answer so I blocked him okay here we go see he is blocked all right I will call him for you mr. Uh, Abu uh, Mirza here we go we are calling your friend huh? I don't know still it's not going Mm -hmm. Is is his name Nasir Ahmad? Is that his name? Yeah, Abdul, is that his name? I know. Well, I tried to contact. I have one name, Khan, etc. He was blocked, and I took it off, and still I can text this guy. Let us see again. <clears throat> Khan, Khan, Khan. Kuku. Karabao. 
Well, he is not in the list. Uh, give give me what his the name he use. Not the ID. What what is the name appear in the? Is that Can Lala? Maybe Can Lala. Is that the one? I think this is the one who called me. I called him, sorry, and he refused to answer. So you're asking me to call this guy. This is the guy who call, I called him first one in the show, and he refused to answer. And he said, "Message here." So all this noise to call this guy. Here we go. I called him. It called decline. <laughs> like call this guy. Call this guy, man. I want you to call this guy. Okay, we call him. Call decline, and he says, "Message here." I mean, what a bunch of kids so this is the one you are saying to me call him I challenge you call him why you don't call him <laughs> he's a potato <laughs> he is an he's an official potato what call him we called him already and he declined the call and he said message here this is the hero you have for me this is the best you have take him to the hospital let him eat different food change his diet enough camel urine like when you hear that they are insisting call this guy call this guy you think like we, we we got something we got a beer and then we find that the bear is a fly we call him let me call him again just for you i will call him and i will make it live on air so everybody will see how he declined. Decline. Here we go. Watch, Abdul. Watch. I'm going to call him. Hmm. Potato, potato, potato. Finally, he answer. Hello. What is that? What is this? Hello. What is that? Do you hear me? What is that? Okay, I'll Hello? hear you now. Go ahead. What do you want to say to us, Mister uh, Khan? Kala. I want to ask you. Who is the supreme God? Jesus, our God. We have one Father. God. We have one God, Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit is one God. There's nothing called supreme God and less God. We have one God. Listen to me. Listen to me. Where did Jesus be become him claim that I, God, Jesus, Spirit, we are all same so worship us all? Again, I don't understand what. Where did Jesus, peace be upon him, claimed, I am equal to, uh, God is equal to, Jesus is equal to spirit. That's very, very Where, easy. Jesus said, the one who saw me, he saw the Father. Can you say that? One, the one what, who saw what, me. What you say? What do you say? Say it again. The one who saw me, he saw the Father. Uh, uh, so what does that mean? If it you means that Jesus is equal to God? Me, if you see me, yes. This would, this would, why the Jews, they wanted to kill Jesus? Because he seemed to be a prophet. Hold on, hold on. Did Jesus, Jesus by saying, by saying, by saying the one he see me, father. hold on. Can I say, if somebody say me, why don't show us God? So when Je what somebody, is, if, John say? Are you calling what does John Did you ask me a question? Did you ask me a question you want to answer or you want to just shout? It's written in the Acts. Do you want to, do you want to answer or you want to shout? You see? Listen to me. Jesus of Nazareth you are man. nervous. You are afraid, and you are you are what, afraid, what and you say? are terrified. A man. You are terrified. Let me let, did, me, let, me, let me talk. You ask me a question. Did you go to me? I am asking hold on, hold a question. On. For See, guys, the first did, thing, the did, first did, thing, the first thing a Muslim he would do because he's afraid I will go to ask him a question. He right away he throw a question about the Bible. Don't even let me answer you about the Bible. Let me answer you. Let me answer you. Let me answer you. Let me answer you. Do you want to hang out? You you don't know the ABC of your own religion. Get lost. I cannot answer about my religion because you cannot let me talk. I have to hang up on you, you idiot. I will call you back. <laughs> he's afraid. He's terrified. The potato is literally terrified. Let me talk. Okay, you give me, you give me a question. 
hold on, hold on. Let me answer the Abdul. Hold on. You gave me a question. Can I answer you? Or you don't want me to answer you? Mirza, why are you all calling? Hello? Hello? Why, why are you lying? That's on my shake, man. Why are you lying? That's just a random Muslim guy. He, he said to me he's a lot of knowledgeable. So, and then I, I sent to you. That's not my shaykh. That's your shaykh? Which, which one is your shaykh? This one? No, no. This, this one is your shaykh? Huh? This one, the one, the one I called him is your shaykh? No, I, I told you Friday my shaykh will call. That's not my shaykh. I want to clarify, man. That's the guy. He told me he's knowledgeable. Who? And then and I said, okay, okay, I'll send you to him there. And then uh, shut up, I know what I uh, my noise made, man. He was your shut up, about... shut up. I did not say this, your sheikh. I don't even know who is he. Shut up, you're an idiot too. What did I say? This is your sheikh. Stupid people. Who cares if this is your sheikh or he's your potato? Maybe he's your boyfriend. All right. Now let us go and see what the Bible says. They asked Jesus, one of his disciples. He says to him, "Why you don't show us the Father?" Why you don't show us the Father? We want to see the Father. Who is the Father? God the Father. Hmm? What Jesus says to him, the one who saw me, he saw the Father. I am with you all this time and you did not know me. John 14. Let not your heart be troubled. Ye believe in God. Believe also in me. In my father's house are many mansions. If it were not so, I would have told you. I go to prepare a place for you. And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again and receive you unto myself. That where I am, there ye may be also. And whither I go, ye know, and the way ye know. Thomas saith unto him, Lord, we know not whither thou goest, and how can we know the way? Jesus saith unto him, I am the way, the truth, and the life. Jesus never said, I am God. I am the truth. Your God, Allah, he copied the name of Jesus. He called himself the truth. I am the, the way. Allah, he, he called himself a tariq Allah is copying the name of Jesus. I am your Lord. I am the way. I am the life. I am the resurrection. I am who I am. This is how God, he presents himself to Moses. as your liars. You say where Jesus says, I am God. Continue. No man cometh unto the Father, but by me. If ye had known me, ye should have known my Father also. And from henceforth ye know him, and have seen him. If you know me, you have seen him. If you know me, you have seen him. Seeing me is seeing the Father. Philip saith unto him, Lord, show us the Father, and it sufficeth us. Jesus saith unto him, Have I been so long time with you, and yet hast thou not known me, Philip? He that has seen me has seen the father the one who saw me he saw God so the potato he asked me a question he didn't want me to answer <laughs> and now if we call him back I guarantee you he will not let me talk you want to bet you want to bet this is fun isn't it he will not let me call the reason that they are they will not let me talk because they are nervous. He's talking to Christian friends. God, what I would do? What if he asked me a question? What if he says something to me? So I will give him a question. I will not even let him talk. I will a radio machine. Let us call him back. Do you hear me? Did you hear no. my answer? Did you hear my answer? I have a question. Okay, hold on. Do you promise me that we can have a conversation, not you just start trying to talk over me? Can you okay. can you can you speak in a similar okay, way? Okay. Okay. Why, okay. Why, why you have a question? Okay. You gave me a question. It's my, a it's my turn no, to no, give you a question. No, no, no. You listen, give me a question. Don't, don't you turn. I you gave have you I, listened? You gave me a question. Like I like, gave you a question. Have you ever listened the debate of the dark like night? Whenever a person asks, you are there. You have to just listen my question. 
you have been uh, given to okay, answer. What about, okay, what about so the turn is mine. I gave you, you an have answer. To what listen. do you think? What do you think about my answer? No, the Jesus says I am and God is one. Who? Who? Jesus? Did he say who me was and, me and, the, and your who, God is one? Who was controlling? Who was controlling the heaven and the earth when Jesus was in the belly of the mother? Who, who was, was controlling? The heaven and the earth. This is why we believe in the Trinity. The Trinity is God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit. Still, God is there. This is how silly you are. But I yeah, can ask you the same question. I can ask you the same question. Who Sean, was controlling? Who 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 was controlling? No, 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 no. It's my turn. I have to you ask, ask a question. A question. I'm me. answering you. Because I asked you, I said you the Trinity. And I this am why I believe in the Trinity. No, of God the Father and debate. the Holy Spirit and Jesus. Jesus, you, by the way, you call me Jesus is call you. Jesus, you call me right. Abdul, Abdul. Jesus' existence has nothing to do with no, his birth. No, no, Jesus no, said before, no, 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 before, no, no, no. before Abraham, no, no. I am. Now, okay, okay. okay. No, now I'm okay, asking Jesus you. Is when three. Allah is three. Okay, Jesus is three. No, he is not a tree. You will not let me talk. Get lost. Nervous Abdul, terrified. He will not even let me say a word. Get lost. You and your God. Terrified like death. <laughs> Take a break, man. Take a piss. Piss. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Take it. I don't know even how you say bis bis Allah Rahman Rahim. Anyway, it happened. He will not let me talk because they are terrified. Because if he talk, what I will say to him? Jesus, his existence have nothing to do with his birth. And what Billy? That is the the flesh. Of Jesus God is always exists can you explain to me how Jesus he was born just now and after a second he is talking speaking wisdom of God in the Quran where he learned in the belly of his mother hmm where he learned the wisdom of God it says in the Quran الكتاب, and we taught him the book where in the belly of his mother cowards but I understand you are talking to Christian Prince and I cannot let him say something otherwise it's going to be very embarrassing and that you say to you where Jesus says I'm God worship me it's in front of you who dare to say the one who saw the saw me he saw God who dare to say that the one me and the father is one which mean me and God is one who dare to say that who dare to say I am the resurrection who dare to say I am the life who dare to say that I am the way I am the resurrection I am the truth he is not a bringing truth. He is the truth. And as we said, Allah, he tried to copy the name of Jesus, the God of Muhammad. Muhammad is copying the name of Jesus. Yeah, you know, we hang up on him because he's a kid. You see, I'm not going to waste my time shouting and screaming. As you see, Muslims, they love my voice. So we have to keep preserve our voice for the Muslims. And the Abdul, he called me. This is not, this is not my shake. Take it easy. I did not say this is your shake. And supposedly your shake is better. You are right. We will see. You said the Friday will call me. When will you call me? When? We will see what your shake can do. Like the other guy who came, he brought me Sheikh Abdul Wadud. Go and see what happened to Abdul Wadud. 
Sheikh Abdul Wadud went through processing, food processing. First, we made him falafel. Then we made him shish kebab. Then we put some oil and we made him barbecue. And then we added some fat and he was dripping all over. And until now, we know where he go because the drip of the fat all over his footsteps. Go watch the video and see what happened to Sheikh Abdul Wadud. This is why your shake don't dare to get close to me. It's the video is there. Go watch it. I know I'm making you angry. <laughs> okay. Eat something. You are free, not like me, sitting behind the microphone. I can't move. I, actually, I wanted to buy a wireless thing, microphone. But the problem, if I use wireless microphone, you guys cannot hear the call unless I use the outside speakers, which will not make the sound good. Uh, like, I mean, it's not... Maybe I should try because I cannot move. I can't even get water. I, not, I cannot even go to, you know, to face Allah. <clears throat> Uh, what do you think about what Eid Al Karni? Eh, other than the are potatoes. This, those are those are shakes of business, you know, shakes of business. The event who is the what is the, whatever the uh, publicity lead us, we go. In Arabic, min you know, with, with the with the bazaar we go. Those are not shakes, but they grow beer. They call themselves shark shake. Who do Muslims think Jesus was crucified or pretended? Okay, somebody is asking, asking about, uh, let us show this uh, question here. Roger uh, saying, Who do, do the Muslims think Jesus was crucified or pretended if they don't know he claimed to be God? Uh, first of all, do the Muslims even have one story for this story? There's thousands of stories about what happened to Jesus. One of it, as an example, which is funny. When the Jews came to arrest Jesus, Allah, he made all the disciples of Jesus look like Jesus. <laughs> Unbelievable. <laughs> so they enter the place, brother, and they have their swords with them. And they said, who is Jesus? And look around them, and they saw 12 people look like Jesus. What? Twelve people look like Jesus. <laughs> In different story, Allah made all. He, uh, he, uh, Allah told Jesus to ask his followers, "Who like to take my look?" And one of them says, "Me." Jesus says, "Okay, you are me now." But this is mean. We have two Jesus now. And when the Jews enter into the room, they found two Jesus. And they said, which one of you is Jesus? <laughs> Unbelievable, beautiful story. By the way, Muslims, I mean, all those stories, fabrication, you have no source of it. But let us go with you. As long as Allah, he left Jesus up. I mean, what's the point of making someone look like him? To deceive us, to make us believe that Jesus was crucified? This is the point? Well, thank you. Allah is the best of deceivers. So why you get upset from me? For I have books. It's called the deception of Allah. Why you get upset from a Christian prince when he called his book the deception of Allah? Well, isn't this a deception? Because if Allah wanted to save Jesus from a crucifixion, he did not need to clone someone like Jesus. He just take Jesus up to heaven. But by cloning someone, as you believe, look like Jesus, he just deceived not only the Jews who want to kill Jesus, he deceived us. Because what the Muslim says and what the Quran says, that he, Allah, he made it appear to them as if it is Jesus. So who is the one who made it appear to us? Allah. But that means, when the Bible says Jesus was crucified, the Bible is saying the truth. Because truthful witness is the one who write down what they saw. And this is what the Quran is saying. This is what they saw. 
Do you see how it's chip hit the Quran? That verse alone is enough to confirm to every Muslim, not to us, because we do not need the Quran to confirm anything to us. This is a stupid book. This is not even equal to a yellow pages. The verse in the front of us confirming that they saw Jesus in the cross, or at least someone looked exactly like Jesus, because Allah He made him appear to look like him. So what is what is our problem? If you don't like the translation, we can change it for you. What one? This is Muhammad Bektal. Maybe you like different uh, Huh? Guys, look at this. But the resemblance of Isa Jesus was put over another man. <laughs> Okay, who is the one who put the resemblance of Jesus over that man? Allah. Okay, so when the Christian they write down in their Bible that they saw Jesus in the cross, they did not lie. Do you understand, Christians? The Quran confirmed that the crucifixion of Jesus is absolutely true because for us, true witnesses is the one who report what they saw, not what they guess. Or somebody came after 600 years to say, oh, 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 it was not Jesus, it was someone else looked like him, brother. 600 years after. 600 years after you, you sent to us somebody from the, the middle of Arabia who don't speak Hebrew He never met Jesus. He didn't know Jesus and he, a brother. It was not Jesus it was like someone looked like him What a stupid cult Now who is the Muslim next In other way who is the next victim Anyone? As you see, Islam is very easy not only to debunk, it's stupid. This is a stupid cult. You do not need to be a genius. To get this religion busted the clear thing about islam that it's a chain of stupid stories there's no proof of it and the clear thing about islam that allah cannot be trusted what if this is the one who made jesus appear look like him is not god as you remember the angel Jibreel, he come to Muhammad in the image of a guy, his name is Dahiel Kalbi. If you remember, Muhammad, he says that Shaitan, he can come, even he come to him in the image of an angel. He said there's a Shaitan, his Abyad. Shaitan, his name is the white, but he is not white. The reason they call him white because he came in the image of Jibreel. Because Jibreel is white. So Shaitan can even change his shape and his face and his color from black, Muslim believe Shaitan is black, to white. And he came to Muhammad as an angel Jibreel and he gave him satanic verses. And let me find the, the, the uh, source. So Muslim will not say, we are making things up. You know them. All right. Let us show you this. Uh, I don't know if we can find it in English too, but we can use Google Translation. Uh, 
what we can do. Here there's a question from Muslims about if the prophets of God are protected, which means they don't do mistakes or errors. And here is the answer. <clears throat> but the answer says something very funny. Very funny. That the prophet you receive, word from a shaitan, his name is Abiyad. Is that true, Muslims? Did your prophet you receive words from a shaitan? His name is Abiyad. Who is a Muslim want to say this is a lie? Hmm? All of those in front of us saying, and by the way, I found that in the CIA, look, uh, each time I search for uh, for something about Islam, it says CIA BDF. The CIA, they have a great library. I'm really surprised. They are watching closely this cult. So, Shaitan, his name is Al Abiyad. He come to Muhammad in the image of Jibreel. All right, that's mean that Shaitan he can take any image he wish, any image he wish. Including Jibreel. That's mean he can change his look, his shape. Even to be human, when in fact he is not a human, even to be an angel, when in fact he is not an angel. Remember in Islam, Muslims do not believe that Shaitan was an angel. Do we have any Abdul? Look like we are out of Abdul for today. How can Jesus be, be you? Let, let me show you the question from Mirza. Okay, let, let, let us call Mirza. Mirza, he will have a question. Mirza, he have a serious question. She did not allow him to answer. Okay, we will show your question to the people. How can Jesus be B U H, which is B B U H? Okay, uh, be God and it change the new covenant when he was following still the Old Testament and saying, agree to stone the women and not eating pork. I mean, look how silly this question, my friend. The Old Testament, he is not following the Old Testament, he is the one who is the God of the Jews. So, what they have as law from God is the law of Jesus. He is not following the Jews, they are following him. That's why Jesus said to the Jews, How David, he say, how David is a son, how, how sorry, how Jesus Christ is a son of David, if David called him God. So he is not following the Jews. The Jews are following him. Secondly, in your religion, oh, sorry that the the screen is uh, is off. You guys, you did not see it. Secondly, if I give you the same question, how you can answer me? How Muhammad he claim that he is following Moses? 
the covenant of Moses and he don't follow the Sabbath how the Sabbath is a holy day for Allah and you Muslim don't follow the Sabbath and not only that what about Allah allowing you to eat pork who is a Muslim want to challenge me to show you Allah saying you can eat pork? Do we have any Muhammadan? Who is a Muslim want to challenge me to show him that Allah says you can eat pork? Yummy, yummy. Any Muslim? Thank you, guys. Thank you for those who support us in the nation. But uh, trust me, I cannot promise you heaven because you donate to me. I am not Muhammad. Muhammad, he says, the one who give me money, I send you into heaven. I will give him a corner lot. I don't promise you heaven. I don't promise you corner lot in heaven. I'm not a scam like Muhammad. Any Muslim want me to show him in the Quran that you can eat pork? No. No brave. Here we go. The same verse saying you cannot eat pork is the same verse saying you can eat pork. The same verse. I mean, how stupid this book is. If you are in hunger, you can eat pork. Do you see it? And here they say severe it doesn't say severe it says mahmasa if your stomach is angry eat pork the same verse but here there's something funny stupid in this verse yeah the same verse this is a chapter 5 verse number 3 the same verse saying it's forbidden for you to eat the following and then it says if you are hungry you can eat it <laughs> Hello. What a stupid cult. But there is here in this verse, as long as we mention it, there is something more stupid. Anyone notice what is stupid there? Not angry. What angry? Hangry. Hangry. You guys don't you guys when I say angry, you think I'm saying angry? Hangry. Okay, let me put the microphone in my stomach because it's uh, my stomach is talking. <clears throat> did, you, did you hear? Yeah. I cannot even record my stomach voice. The Muslim, they will say you have a beautiful voice, your stomach. I mean, those people, they get hangry. So look here what it says. If you see how stupid the Quran is, the Quran says this day, This day, I have perfected your religion for you and completed my favor upon unto you. Okay, hold on. And chosen Islam for you, other religion. Okay, well, Abdul. But there is a hundred and nine chapter after this chapter. So how today I completed Islam for you and we have a hundred Nine chapter after this chapter. Hello. Imagine in my book of one of my books, I write for you after the page number five. Thank you guys for reading my book. My book is finished. Today I completed my favor upon you and gave you all the information. And then I continue writing. 300 pages, 400 pages. Who is the stupid here? This verse to be accurate, it should be the last verse in the Quran. Have you ever heard a movie? It says the end in the beginning. The end. You remember all days they used to put the end because at that time people they are like, I don't know what happened to people at that time. I mean, why you need to put the end? Uh, because people will not leave the theater unless you put the end. They will stay waiting for something to happen so they put like the end so Muhammad he put the end but we're in the beginning of the Quran and what forbidden pork have to do with completed my favor upon you this is what Islam is about you cannot eat pork that's it we're done what is the verse for rape 
Where is the punishment for adultery for a woman she is married? Where is, where is, where is? There is millions of things is missing in the Quran. They say, go to the Hadith, brother. Hmm. By the way, those who miss a video, like because I don't keep my videos, you can go always to Patreon and see the last updated link. Because after I make my video, you guys you download it in your channel, I post it in my page in Patreon, and then you can uh, watch still that video. And please subscribe to those people. <clears throat> Any Muhammadan? So Islam became perfect because he said to them today, I, if I, I allow you to take it, eat chicken and falafel and don't eat pork. That's it. Islam is perfect now. Hmm. And then the verse after it says, today I allow you to eat the, the, the food of the Christians. I thought Islam is perfect now. Why you are adding things, rules? You just said two verses before, I completed your favor for you. And here he says, you can eat their food and you can marry their women. But Islam perfected already. Hello? Anyway, guys, we aren't going to keep you long. Today is uh, Sunday. And <clears throat> I hope we have a good time together. Did we have a good time? Did we have a good time? If you are a Muslim and you have a sheikh, please feel free to invite your sheikh and we will talk to him nicely. If he is nice. If he is not, sorry. I, I you know I have no choice. People who they are nice, speak to them nice. People who they are rude, we will get them, we will shower them with their rudeness. I am not the Christian you can play with. I know that you Christian Muslims, uh, you take advantage of a Christian being kind because the Quran, the, guys, do you know what, what the Muslim think about you being nice as a Christian? They think that Allah, he cursed you. Hmm? Allah, <clears throat> he cursed you. And this is why you are nice. Not because you are a good person. Can you discuss 355 quickly? Next time, next time, next time. No problem. Because, you know, things things will lead to things and it's endless. If you go in the Quran, the Quran says, Mirza is calling. What more? What Mirza? What happened? Hello, Salam Alaikum. Alaikum Salam, Mirza. What happened? <coughs> Uh, brother, one second, please, please, one second. Okay. Um, let me get this real quick. Mm. So, yeah, brother, can you hear me? Yeah, I hear you. So, um, you know, I'm, I'm sorry if I was, uh, I don't know, rude or something, man, because lately I've been, I'm really active on your channel because um, Friday, uh, Sheikh or... Uh, knowledgeable friend of Islam of me. Okay, he will call you. You know, he's a sheikh and, and he's coming Friday, so we can yeah. we can you can confirm to me that he is going to call for sure. You promise? Yeah, yeah, good. yeah. I, I can, I can. Okay, and, you know if you, so, if you so do I'm that, if you do that, I will ask Allah to give you extra you know, your and stuff. You know, brother. Yeah, if you so, do but, that, uh, uh, listen, Mirza. If you do that, I will ask Allah to give you extra versions in heaven. Okay. <sighs> <laughs> what? No man, no, no, no. come on! You want versions? You don't? Oh, you don't want them versions? Is it because it's too much work? You, you want to take them ready, right? What is version? I mean, come on! You, yeah. So you can do what? What is the name of the sheikh? Heaven. What? What is the name of this sheikh who will call me Friday? He, he will see. He will see. Like, is it a big surprise? He's a no really knowledgeable sheikh. Okay, uh, that's good. 
that's good guys so next Friday Mirza here mr. Mirza he promised us next Friday we will have a very interesting conversation and I promise you Mirza, I will speak to him nicely as long as he's nice and you know me you know even I speak to you nicely right so uh, I promise you that I will treat him nice as long as he is not truth calling names or etc he will be more than welcome so guys next Friday we will have a I, I really he will have a shake nice man. you're a cool guy you're really smart you know I enjoy talk to you you seem like a knowledgeable guy um and you, you, you know brother um let, let me see so so i want to uh, bring something up i don't have uh, much so um you know you were talking about jesus right mm. Jesus, peace and blessing be upon him right mm. in islam mm. so um we know as jesus as a messenger of allah mm. created by uh, mary by mary uh, is created by mary yes Mary created Jesus. No, created by from Mary. You know, from uh, oh, the okay. virgin birth mm. by Allah. By Allah, oh, okay. um, you know, Mary uh, mm. was a virgin. Mm. We also believe that as a Christians. Why Mary? She was. Uh, a virgin? Why she was virgin? Huh? Why she was virgin? It was a miraculous birth. What the point of this miracle birth? I mean, I, my mother, she was a virgin when she gave birth to me. What the point? <laughs> yeah, until now she's no, virgin. But... Until now she's virgin. I mean, what the point? No, that's impossible. No, no, Allah, no, no, if no, no hold on, hold on. I'm can. asking you what the point, what the point. When you say as a Muslim that Mary, she was a virgin, you need to tell me what the point because this is a, this is a miracle nobody can see. Only my mother can prove it if she was a virgin when she gave birth to me or not. So what the point? Uh, what what because, is behind this miracle? Okay. Miracle is to prove that God can do things and to show his ability to the world, right? Signs from God. Is to show what I can right. do. Okay, so what the point yeah, of making Mary? Everyone, not everyone, right? To specific people. No, no, no. It doesn't matter Mary because even those specific people, they did not. Birth. Even those specific people, nobody really saw that Mary. She is Mary was a virgin. So what is the proof? What is the proof of this miracle? What the point? Uh, okay, let me explain then, hmm. because um, it doesn't matter if only one person sees a miracle or a thousand or a million or the but whole. But nobody earth. saw this miracle. Is not it... even one person. Who is the who is the person who saw this miracle? Mary. Mary. Yes. Ah, okay. there is silence. Okay, there. hold on, hold on, <laughs> guys. Mary, she is the one who saw this miracle. Okay, but now, yeah. but now, Mary, she is in trouble because of this miracle. What the point? Because she had no husband. Stay again, stay again. Why? Why her family did not kill her? Adultery, adultery for the Jews, adultery for the Jews. They deserve a stoning to death. Why her family did not kill her? Because, why the Jews, um, why the Jews did not? Why the Jews did not kill oh, her? Yeah, 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 yeah. Hmm. This is why Islam actually makes more sense in this topic than Christianity. Because hmm. when Jesus was born, hmm. he could talk in Islam. He was okay. talking. He said, "Don't do so it." My mother. If we, if we have, you know. In if, Christianity, they he couldn't hold talk. On, he hold, wasn't on, hold on, when he hold was on, young. hold on, hold on. Okay, people, Jesus, he crazy. spoke in the cradle, right? Jesus spoke yeah. in the cradle, okay, but that would not prove that, that he is that, that Jesus is not the son of adultery. So, what if he spoke? They, they might, they might okay, believe maybe, maybe there is a maybe there is a genie talking, huh? You must not believe in genie, don't you? We don't believe in genie. You believe in genie. So maybe genie is talking using using his mouth. Muhammad, he has Shaitan no, speaking his mouth. Satanic verses. So so what the point of this thing that Mary she is a virgin? Until now you did not give me a proof because the Jews did not witness it and nobody witnessed it and we did not witness it. So what the point that Jesus is a son of no man? So it doesn't matter, Jen. It's something supernatural. Okay, let me ask you. It's it's a, it's a, so Jesus himself is supernatural. Jesus himself. Is a miracle? Do you agree? No, the event of his birth was miracle. No, 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 no. He is the miracle. What is the event? The event is him. What is the event? The event is him. He was not there watching. Yeah, he is the event. No, the event of Moses splitting the seas was also a miracle. No, the event no, of okay, hold on. Adam okay, Moses did not split the sea. No, Moses, Moses did not Doesn't split the No, Moses did not split the seas. It is God. Secondly. Who is the yes. miracle in the story of Jesus? Jesus himself is the miracle. Why? Because every son, every every person have to be born. He has born from a mother and a father, except Jesus. So Jesus what is the event. Adam and Eve. What? Takbir. Are you silly Takbir. or what? Are, I, I don't want to use the word stupid. Are you being stupid now? Is Adam born? Yeah, that's what I'm saying, but he's still see? existing. You see, I'm saying everyone is born. The Quran, chapter 25, verse number 54, it says, 
which means everyone is born from marriage everyone after Adam everyone made him from water from marriage from sperm Jesus is not why yeah God used it as a miracle why why the miracle happened what for what the purpose um well what was the can, purpose of okay God can God, miracles, can God like, okay hold on hold on God he made a God he can make any miracles why Jesus should not have a father he is born from a woman but he don't have a father what is the point uh, well, well, the point of the miracle right okay, let me ask you did your prophet say every son of an Adam is a sinner yes yes and if we weren't sinners God wouldn't create us all right thank you guys with. every son of an Adam is a sinner okay is Jesus a son of an Adam uh, is, he, is Jesus an Israelite because this is another question Jesus, is Jesus a son of an Adam according to Islam according to Islam you are the son of your father and the Quran saying that so so according to Islam you are the son of your father so okay Jesus Quran says is Muhammad the, um, Jewish doctrine listen and, uh, listen the listen Bible listen, also listen, also listen, says, listen listen every son of an Adam is a sinner was Jesus a sinner? Son of Adam is a sinner. Yes, yes, he probably did a sin or something. I don't know. Show me. No. So why in Quran chapter 19, verse 19, it says that Jesus is holy. <clears throat> is that correct? Does it say <coughs> 19, chapter 19, verse 19, that Jesus is holy? Or we are making things up. It was Musa um, holy? No, nobody was holy. Nobody is holy except Jesus. No, Prophet Muhammad is holy. No, okay, I will show you that Muhammad in the Quran is a big time no. sinner. No, 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 no. Okay, read with me. Does it say in the Quran, chapter 19, verse number 19, that Jesus is a holy son? Yes, okay. yes, yes. Now, uh, wait, let me see. Okay, hold Chapter on. Chapter 19, verse 19, right? Yeah, I just show it to you on a front screen. Do you see it? I, I want to look at my translation. Uh, okay, translation came. All right. Now, let us go to the Quran. Does the Quran say Muhammad is a big time sinner? God, let me see. Read with me. Chapter 48, verse number 2. Wait, 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 brother. Please, brother, one second. And look how the Muslim they try to fabricate translation. Um, well, are you there? Are you with me? Yes, yes, yes. Okay. Does it say in chapter 48, verse number 2, Allah forgive your sin? I was eating, brother. I, I swear I was eating. I know. I, know. I had something in my uh, yeah. thing. Mm. So, Muhammad was a sinner, right? Jesus is um, holy. Allah may forgive thee of thy sins, mm. that which is past mm. and which is to come, mm. and may perfect his favor unto thee mm. and may guide thee on the right path so no matter if he says he will at the end of it the sin will go away and he, he will guide it in the right path okay hold on how, how is it going to go away allah he may forgive him it's not even sure which is stupid from god to say me secondly may forgive thee for what for sin sin in what in the past and sin what in to come your god allah he gave muhammad open license for sin what kind of god is that Sin in the past, sin in the future. Don't worry, Muhammad. Go and do whatever you wish. I may forgive your sin. No, may. Hold yeah, on. It doesn't mean you said to me. Sin. You said to me that Muhammad did not commit sin. The Quran says Muhammad commits sin. Now show me where Jesus commits sin in the Quran. I showed you where okay. it Jesus is holy. One second, brothers. Yes, yes, brother. Let me see. Let me see. Let me real quick. Yeah. I will give you ten thousand years. Um, I, I need two minutes, man. I will give you ten thousand years, not ten years, minute, two minutes. What two minutes? It, it's not enough. I'm telling you from now. You need ten thousand years, fifteen thousand years. 
search faster in Google. So hit faster, man. Hit the keyboard. Hmm. Hit hard. Did you hit enter? You did not hit enter. Hit enter twice. Brother, I almost got it. Brother, one second, brother. Okay, I'll, uh, I'll call me, call me later. It's embarrassing. Okay, okay. You will never find it. Do you promise me to find it? <laughs> oh, boy. unbelievable! Unbelievable! So, Muhammad is synergy is not, and this is why Jesus is the son of no man. Every son of an Adam is a sinner. Muhammad said, I agree with that. Jesus is not the son of Adam, he's the God of Adam. This is why the devil he could not touch Jesus. Why? Because he's pure. I'm talking about Islam now, not about Christianity. In Islam, Jesus is protected. Jesus himself is a miracle. Jesus himself, miracle of God, and God is a miracle. God himself is a miracle. Everything about him is a miracle. That is Jesus. All right. Agree with Muhammad? Yeah, well, I agree that all sons of Adam are sinners. Are we? Muhammad here is just copying from the Bible. You see, the Muslims they say we don't agree with the Old Testament or the New Testament about Adam and the, and the original sin. Correct? But look, he's just Muhammad. He said that original sin is exist. Why? Because they are the son of Adams, and Adam was a sinner. I mean, do you see how silly is called? They speak, they, they, they preach against original sin. Ah, oh, Christian believe in original sin. It's not fair, it's not right. Blah, 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 blah. But why they are sinners? Because they are the sons of Adam. Do you see it? And not only that, Muhammad, in different story, he said, if not Eve, no woman betray her husband, which means Muhammad saying that women, they inherited their sin from Eve. So we inherited our sin as men from Adam, and women, they inherited their sin from Eve. And Muhammad claimed that every woman is a bad woman because Adam was the bad. Every woman is bad according to Muhammad, which is very stupid to say. And the hate in front of you. So every son of an Adam is a sinner, and every son of Hawa, the females, all of them, they are bad. They betray their husbands. That's why I'm not married yet. I'm afraid that Muhammad is saying the truth. Muhammad, he has 13 wives, and they are the devil, according to him. So why you marry 13 devil? Muhammad, he says, the women, she come and she leave in the image of the devil. So why you have 13 of them? I mean, they come and they live in the image of the devil, and yet you have 13 of them, and you have 100 more of slaves to, for sex? They are devils, as you see. The woman advances and retires, or re re retires in the shape of the devil. Do you see it? So why Allah, he promised us 72 women at least in the heaven. They are devil. But here Muhammad, he want to claim that he is after women because women are devil. They seduce him. It's not his fault. It's the fault of the women. It's not his fault. It is the women fault. The devil is you, Muhammad. Anyway, guys, I want to say thank you for being here. The, if you like to learn more about Islam, feel free to read my books. You can search in your country, Amazon, Amazon.com, France, Germany. My books translated to many languages and more to come. German, Dutch, Swedish, French, English, and uh, uh, Spanish. You know, we have the Spanish already. Actually, we have two books in Spanish already published, and soon Russian. And uh, the, the book in Malay, actually, I'm working in publishing it right now. So we have, you know, so many more books to come to be uh, uh, ready for people to have. 
knowledge my friend is the most important thing you can have and you can acquire during your lifetime we lose our you know let's say health we lose our face how young we are our skin change everything change there's one thing never go down that's your wisdom and your knowledge it's always a grow while everything go down so grow with wisdom and knowledge for this is the best thing you can have in this earth and time will come and you will be asked questions what you accomplish in your life watching movies maybe is fun going around is fun having a new car is fun having a big house is fun but it's not fun to stand in the front of the Lord and to say to him I came to you back with the car and the house that will not help you so I want to say thank you for all those who help us and support us and those who uh, download and talking about those who download the videos and share them around so everybody can learn and see the truth and the truth will set them free and for sure we appreciate those who support us by donation thank you very much Christ is Lord Islam is false and see you soon again bye bye